Hello, welcome to Orbix 360. Uh, today we're going to be looking at anaglyphs, a uh, image that is uh, cyan and red that you can look at with uh, traditional 3D glasses. And uh, with uh, Orbix 360, they're very easy to uh, work with. Um, all you need is an image that is a 3D image, uh, meaning that is stereoscopic. It has a left, right, or a uh, top, bottom in this case. Um, and um, you can see <clears throat> uh, when you go to upload it, you would have to have a stereo image. And um, if you do have one of those uh, stereo images and you upload it, or you can just, uh, you know, also go to the, uh, the uh, Explore page or, or click on someone else's 3D image. And um, you can see that um, once you do, there is a little anaglyph button here. Um, that toggles on and off, and um, when it's toggled on, you will see the this is a this is actually off, um, and this is a 180. And when you toggle it on, it's running a little slow because of the screen capture. Um, so once it goes on, now uh, with the glasses, you can view this whole tour in anaglyph mode. And it's really that easy to view anaglyphs um, and to upload them. You just, like I said, you need a uh, 180 or a, uh, a uh, 3D image. So this is actually one that is my image. Um, and since it's mine, I have um, editing capabilities. And the good thing about having a tour that you can have editing capabilities on is that now I can actually download the image. Um, so you would just click on the edit mode there and um, there's all kinds of options for this particular image you can add sound to this image change the default view add flat images um, add an informational hotspot but we're concerned with this one here which is the uh, download button and with that you're able to either download a thumbnail of this image um, you can download a original image and this image will open up in a new window and then you would right click on it to save so um, like with the original image you can now see that this is a stereoscopic image that's a left and a right eye view if I wanted to save this I could just save it from here and download it and then have that image um, of course lastly we can see that we can download the anaglyph <clears throat> um, and we would want to save that to the computer. So the good thing about having this in a equirectangular form um, as an anaglyph is that you can uh, then do what you like with it. Like you can upload it, say, to Facebook um, and have a nice uh, anaglyph 360 image. And um, it looks pretty good and um, it's a lot of fun. Um, also, you can um, notice that um, it is works in any of your like regular 360 editing software if you want to um, you know use it to create like a, a tiny planet or a crystal ball effect so there's a lot of really fun things you can do with the anaglyph and if you're interested in specific um, tutorials please leave a comment and um, I can do another deep dive into one of these areas but thank you very much have a wonderful day